If there's one thing you need to know about the global performance cache in After Effects CS6, it's this. It will change the way you work because you don't have to wait for a previously created frame to re-render. So in the example that I have here, we've got some video, and the background that you see was actually a still image of a cliff that I've applied the Psycore 32-bit sphere effect to. And what I'm thinking is I might want to color correct that background to really make the green and the other colors pop. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my hue saturation and drop it on the cliff layer and just increase the saturation here. So once I do that, I can see how green it is, and typically I would start RAM previewing these frames. As I'm looking at this, I might think, well, I don't actually like the green. So I can play this back, and we can see all the frames that I've cached so far. Nah, you know what? I don't like that. Let's get rid of it. Well, traditionally, if I just took that out and I wanted to, again, watch what I'd already done, I'd have to re-render everything. But with Global Performance Cache, you'll see I don't have a full green bar just now. I can turn off the hue saturation, and when I do that, my green bar is restored. All of the frames that were cached before are still there. What if I want to turn off that Psychore Sphere effect altogether and look at just the original image, the original key driver against the backdrop? I can turn that off. Again, full green bar, full real time, changing the way I work in After Effects CS6 with the Global Performance Cache.